<laughs> What's up, Vico? What's up? I'm Japanese. From Japan. Japan, it's the country. You go to China and make a right. It's the country of Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. So Brooke is so sexy, isn't she? Me too. It's not funny. So when I moved to the United States, I didn't speak English at all. So I studied. And the best way to learn foreign language is to talk to local people. And the first sentence I learned was, Hola, como estas, amigo? <laughs> so, so I'm a foreigner here, you know? And when you live in a foreign country, you miss your home a lot, especially food. I really miss McDonald's Japan <laughs> because there I can get Mac Fried Penguin, <laughs> Crispy Sea Lion Classic Sandwich, and Seahorse McMuffin with Egg. <laughs> They're crunchy. <laughs> so, my mom is visiting me from Japan now. And she goes to Fisherman's Wharf every day. And she's like, Kazumi, I found a great seafood market there. They have so many varieties. I'm like, Mom, it's an aquarium. <laughs> <laughs> so now the aquarium has a restraining order on my mom. Uh, yesterday I went shopping. And I'm really upset because some salespeople push their opinions too much, you know? <laughs> Yesterday I went to buy a new bra for me because my boobs are growing. <laughs> I have decided to be, you know, B cup, boom. <laughs> because they are made in Japan. <laughs> oh, but they are not a recall model. <laughs> so they are reliable and efficient with 35,000 miles warranty. <laughs> so at the store, a saleswoman came to me and she said, how can I help you? So I said, can you measure my boobs, please? <laughs> they might be sick up by now. <laughs> but this woman had a gigantic metal tape measure as if she was working at Home Depot. <laughs> and she squeezed my boobs really tight. So I said, can you please be nice to my boobs? <laughs> Because I didn't want her to void the warranty. <laughs> but she kept squeezing my boobs really tight, and she said, You are sorry to A. Well, um, actually, I have a B cup. Well, actually, you are A cup or even double A. <laughs> same idea. They are getting smaller, so I'm going to give you a push-up bra, okay? Ex ex excuse me! Ex excuse me! Excuse me! I don't need a push-up bra, okay? If you squeeze them even harder, they're going to be triple A <laughs> and start emergency road service. <laughs> I don't want to get it, okay? <gasps> um, so, um, I'm married. Thank you. I'm already taken. <laughs> taken. Um, so my husband.
husband is is Jewish guy with glasses and he's neurotic. Wait, wait, he's not. I wasn't his adopted daughter. <laughs> not creepy like Woody Allen type. <laughs> so we love each other and we are very happy, but we have a problem because my husband has lots of white hair and he looks 20 years older than me and people think that he's my sugar daddy. <laughs> you know, my, you know, his friends, you know, always like, hello, do you understand English? I'm like, hola, como estas, amigo? <laughs> oh, your Spanish is very good. Uh, so, uh, did you know him before you got married? <laughs> yes, after he assembled the kit, he bought in Tokyo. <laughs> I'm a robot. <laughs> um, so I grew up in Japan, and uh, my childhood was weird because my uh, family was dysfunctional. <laughs> my father, um, he's a Japanese guy. And, <laughs> and then he used to take me to um, movies, but these movies are always violent movies. When I was 10, I told my dad, Dad, I want to watch Snow White. But he said, oh, oh you know what? You will learn more by watching real stories. <laughs> So we saw Scarface, <laughs> you know, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> so we, actually, I learned a lot. After that, I started inhaling pixie sticks. <laughs> Want some pixie sticks? <laughs> I became diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so my family was dysfunctional and um, my mother is actually mentally ill. <laughs> she is uh, schizophrenic and it's hard if you have a schizophrenic mother because she changes the house rules frequently. <laughs> I was little, little and one day my mother was like, uh, today, your brother is in charge of the house. And then my brother was like, Mom, let's have a chocolate cake for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And another day, my mom was like, Today, your sister is in charge of the house. And my sister was like, Lend me your favorite dress and call me your princess. <laughs> and another day, my mama was like, Today, our rabbit is in charge of the house. <laughs> and the rabbit was like... <laughs> so, <laughs> so all of us hopped around and messed around in the yard and now we have six brothers and sisters. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> Uh, in the Bay Area, I see a lot of um, tattooed people, and it's weird sometimes because some some of them don't know what's the meaning of Asian characters on their body. <laughs> One day, a guy asked me, "Hey, uh, what's up? You know what these Japanese characters mean?" So I said, "This means uh, powerful. This means wealthy, and this means you have hepatitis." 